Can 20,000 magnets catch a car midair? Unfortunately for Mr. Beast, the answer to this question is a resounding no. Back in January, Mr. Beast uploaded this video, which takes a look at a handful of videos that he had to scrap because, unfortunately, they just didn't work out. The ideas were just too impossible or just too impractical to carry out in real life. And one of those videos, as you can see, is Can 20,000 magnets catch a car midair? Now let's see what went wrong with this video and why did he have to scrap it? We never got airborne. So then we went to a junkyard and tried to get a really ginormous magnet from the junkyard and recreate this. Oh, that, that's awkward. And yeah, that's why that video was scrapped. Well, I think I can see what went wrong here in this particular video that Mr. Beast had to scrap. I mean, first of all, he didn't get Scrap Man to come and help him with it because you don't have to scrap a video if you have Scrap Man working on the video. But second of all, the really big mistake is that he tried to do it in real life. See, the secret, if you're gonna play with ridiculous physics ideas that are pretty much impossible or don't make any sense, you gotta do it in a video game. And what we have that Mr. Beast didn't have was Trail Makers. So we're gonna try to recreate Mr. Beast catching a car with magnets ideas, but actually try to make it successful using electromagnets in Trail Makers. This is gonna be a fun one. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Trail Makers, and you know what's happening today. If you haven't seen that video by Mr. Beast, by the way, you should definitely go check it out. There are tons of other crazy ideas that are also featured in that video, but we're focusing on just the magnetic car one. So as we saw with the issues that he had, the first issue he ran into was getting the car airborne. So we're going to build ourselves some ramps and see if we can't get ourselves an airborne car. We're also going to need a car, too, I guess. I suppose that's probably going to be useful for catching a car with magnets. So I'm gonna start with the ramp though. The ramp should be the easy part. All you really gotta do is just put a bunch of wedge pieces down and uh, you eventually get yourself a ramp. All right, and now we have ourselves a ramp. And you know, Mr. Beast may have a lot more money than I have and he may have a lot more resources and a whole team at his disposal and all this stuff, but um, I've got trail makers and I can make whatever I want at no additional cost to me. So I don't need any of that fancy money and stuff like that. You know, what good is... That stuff, anyway, I'm, just, I'm gonna build this pickup truck now, because I can't afford to buy one. Looks like now we got ourselves the nice white pickup truck and this thing only cost me like 
30 minutes of my time. And the real nice thing about this one is if I destroy it, I can just repair it. So super, super cost effective. Now the question is, can this thing actually get air off the ramp? That was the first issue that Mr. Beast ran into, was getting some air using a ramp. If we can get it in the air, we're off to a good start. We'll be able to then move on to the magnet portion. White pickup truck versus ramp. Can we get some air? And... And Mr. Beast, I understand. I understand how this could have been kind of difficult to do. But... You, uh, I do have solutions to this. Pro oh my goodness. This is just like the video. Okay, but no worries I have a handy dandy repair function because this is not real life. This is a video game We got to readjust this bumper here I'm just gonna get rid of like the lower layer of the bumper if I can come on. This is for the big views This is for the big views. There we go. I mean, it's not a whole lot But it's better than destroying the entire ramp and getting no air at all but you know what, that's fine, because we're not even supposed to be going that far, because we're supposed to be stopping this car mid-air with magnets. But actually, it's doing pretty well for a ramp. I think this is gonna work well. Okay, so now, we need to make sure that there's gonna be an electromagnetic wall, but I also wanna give myself a landing zone with a ramp on the other side. Let's see if we can do that. All right, here it is. What are the bets that this thing can make the gap? Whether it can or not, I'm really honestly not that concerned. Oh, wow, we cleared it, okay. We could, we could do a lot more than that if we really wanted to. And you know what? I really kind of want to. I've extended the length. Let's see if we can get the distance. Oh, oh, look at that. Was that beautiful? That was beautiful. All right, so now, the moment of truth. Can we build the electromagnetic wall? And whether or not the electromagnetic wall works or doesn't work, I'm also gonna wanna try the crane version that they had in their video that didn't work. We're gonna see if we can get successes out of both of those. There is one limitation that this game is gonna put on us, and that is the number of parts we can use. Unfortunately, we can't have the full 20,000 magnets, but that's okay because the magnets in this game are way bigger scale-wise than the magnets that Mr. Beast was using. So I am just going to line this entire area. I really, I don't know how many electromagnets it's gonna let me put here, but I'm just gonna align this entire gap with electromagnets. All right, I don't know how high we're gonna be able to make it go. We can go up to 700 parts. We're at five, 612, 652, 692. So this is going to be our wall of electromagnets. All right, and here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the wall of electromagnets, and I press space and they become active. Now, I don't know what kind of distance I'm gonna need for these to even have any effect or if it's even gonna be able to catch us. But place your bets now. Are we going to make a success out of Mr. B's scrapped video? Can Scrapman unscrap the video? All right, the moment of truth. Scrapman lines up, strains himself out. He only gets one chance at this, which is a completely false statement. He could try as many times as he wants because this isn't real life. This is a video game. Can he save Mr. B's channel? Okay, I'm just delaying. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Here we go, three. Two, one, we're off. Oh boy, that was a terrible lineup and go. Okay, all right, I think <laughs> the electromagnetists stopped the car, but they they didn't stop it midair. So you know, <laughs> you know what I think? Oh no, oh, I gotta get, I, I don't know how to get off. I gotta get off, oh, there goes the wall. We broke the entire electromagnetic wall. Now, if this was real life and I had to rebuild that entire thing, that would be extremely frustrating. But because this isn't real life and we have trail makers, we can just do a nice repair. Oh, that was a bad, that didn't, okay. You know what, even video games sometimes have their issues. Okay, all right, none of this is working out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I think what might be the best thing to do is maybe not have electromagnets right at the beginnings and ends of the jump. Maybe instead, we can put the electromagnets in the center of the jump, like, you know, at the apex. Now this should be more effective at catching a car midair. Okay, so now Scrapman lines up. He looks like he's really lined up now. All right, and off he goes. Will the car be caught in midair by the electromagnets? Oh. <gasps> That actually worked better than expected. Look at how effective that is. It just stopped us dead in midair. Oh, I think we can make this even better. We can make this even better. I want it to catch the car when it's actually like right in the middle of the jump. And I'm gonna use sensors to activate the electromagnets. Oh, this is gonna be good. 
I didn't realize that in order to have these sensors activate the the, the, the electromagnets, that I would have to individually assign each electromagnet to be activated by the sensor. I tried it other ways, and it didn't work. And I just counted, by the way, this is 252 electromagnets. So it still has, like, the twos in there. Not 20,000, but 200. All right, so now, if something passes in front of it, you can see it activates the electromagnets. So, let's try this again and see if we can get an even better result. And then we move on to the electromagnet crane. All right, Scrapman lines up for the jump. Will it work? Here we go. Three, two, one, jump! Oh my goodness, we were a little bit... A little bit too far away. That was an epic jump, though. And seeing the electromagnets come on right when I did it. Oh, that was awesome. All right, I think I just was a little bit too far away. We're going to jump slightly closer this time. This is a terrible jump angle, by the way. I have, like, no landing zone. All right, will this one go better? I think it will. And go! Oh! Oh, it worked so well. It worked so well. Why, Why are some of them not activated? Okay, first magnet experiment has been saved. Can we save the magnetic crane? If we're gonna try to unscrap the scrapped part of the video, that that means that we're going to need to build ourselves an actual magnetic crane. And I'm actually gonna make this ramp a little bit less extreme, not as much of a kick at the top. There we go, I think that'll be a little bit better. And uh, yeah, so then I'm gonna build off of here and build a crane hanging over it with some um, floppy hinges and stuff. That way, if it actually works and we can stop the car with a magnet, it should swing with the crane. It should be kind of epic. What is going? What? Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. That it's gonna need some adjustment. Oh. Now, I think it should work. I've given it some more structural support. I'm be I'm betting that if this catches the car though, I think we're gonna destroy it. I think it's not gonna be able to support the weight of the car, but there's only one way to find out. So let's spawn in our pickup truck here and see what happens. I'm actually kind of excited for this. Three, two, one. Can we save Mr. Beast? Oh, oh no way, look at that. <laughs> That was epic. Can we do this in a way that's not gonna destroy the crane though? I need to provide some more support with the crane somehow. All right, I think there's one thing that I can do. I've given the crane some extra side support. Let's see if we can't catch a car. All right, there goes nothing. Huh? Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it, yes! <laughs> Whoa, what? it destroyed us. Oh no, it caught our seat and it kicked our guy out, but look! We caught ourselves a car and the crane actually retained some of its structural- Actually, no, it, I think it's completely intact. The car is not intact. It tore the roof off of it. Wow. I think that deserves an encore run. We gotta do that again. How do I- I, I gotta- hold on, let me get back in the magnet here. Let's go ahead and drop this thing and- Oh, I didn't even do that. The magnet's still on. All right, well, that was way more epic than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. And now it is swinging like crazy, so this might be a lot harder, but I have to see this happen again. One more epic one. Can we do it? There it is. Oh! Oh, look at that! That is awesome! Oh, this is, this is so fun. This was just an epic video. I think we may have actually saved Mr. Beast here. So you guys can go ahead and uh, tweet at him, letting him know that uh, he doesn't have to scrap the video anymore. It's totally doable. You just gotta do it in a video game. That's all there is. Obviously, I'm a fan of Mr. Beast and I like his content. And with the introduction of electromagnets into the game, I thought that, that was a prime opportunity to try to replicate some of the ideas that he had and see how they translate to the video game world. And just as I expected, it's it's epic. I don't know if Mr. Beast is gonna see this video or not, but if you do, thanks for the great content. And I hope you guys enjoyed this content. And if you did, I hope this video has earned your subscription. If you wanna see other awesome ideas and trail makers like this, then you're gonna wanna check out this playlist right here. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.